gives sight to one blind from birth. Every day that one does something, take that as your text. Every day God sends forth three powerful energies, one from the sperm of the father into the mother, so both may begin. Two, a birth from the womb of the ground, so male and female may spring into existence. Three, there's a surge up from the surface into what is beyond dying, that the real beauty of creating can be recognized. There's no way to ever say this. Let's return to the two friends who spread. Became single. Who spell with their two letters the original word? P. B and E tighten around subjects and objects that one not may hold them. Two scissor blades make one cut. And watch TWD men washing clothes. One makes dry clothes wet. The other makes wet clothes dry. They seem to be thwarting each other, but their work is a perfect harmony. Every holy person seems to have a different doctrine and practice, but there's really only one work. Someone listening to a millstone falls asleep. No matter. The stone keeps turning. Water from the mountain far above the mill keeps flowing down. The sleepers will get their bread. Underground it moves, without sound, and without repetition. Show us where that source of speech is that has no alphabet. That spaciousness. Where we are now is a narrow fantasy that comes from there, and the actual, outside world is even narrower. Narrowness is pain, and the cause of narrowness is meaniness. Creation was spoken with one sound, B. The two letters, B and E, to record it. 88. Came after. The meaning of the sound and its resonance are one. There's no way to ever say this, in so many words. And no place to stop saying it. Meanwhile, a lion and a wolf were fighting. The servant W.H.O. loved his prayers. At dawn a certain rich man wanted to go to the steam baths. He wrote his servant, Sun Tour, Ho! Get moving! Get the basin and the towels and the clay for washing and let's go to the baths. Sunpur immediately collected what was needed, and they set out side by side along the road. As they passed the mosque, the call to prayer sounded. Sunpur loved his five times prayer. Please, Master, rest on this bench for a while that I may recite Surah 98, which begins, You will treat your slave with kindness. The master sat on the bench outside while Sunpur went in. When prayers were over, and the priest and all the worshippers had left, still Sunpur remained inside. The master waited and waited. Finally he yelled into the mosque, Sunpur, why don't you come out? I can't. This clever one won't let me. Have a little more patience. I hear you out there. Seven times the master waited. Eighty-nine. And then shouted. Sunther's reply was always the same. Not yet. He won't let me come out yet. In their good news, everyone else has left. Who makes you sit still so long? But there's no one. The one who keeps me in here is the one who keeps you out there. The same who will not let you and will not let me out. The ocean will not allow its fish out of itself. Nor does it let land animals in where the subtle and delicate fish move. The land creatures lumber along on the ground. No cleverness can change this. There's only one opener for the lot of these matters. Forget your figuring. Forget yourself. Listen to your friend. When you become totally obedient to that one, you'll be free. Imru, LK.
Inru, I case, king of the Arabs, was very handsome, and a poet, full of love songs. Women loved him desperately, everyone loved him, but there came one night an experience that changed him completely. He left his kingdom and his family. He put on nervous robes and wandered from one weather, one landscape, to another. Love dissolved his king self and led him to Tabak, where he worked for a time making bricks. Someone told the king of Tabak about Imru, I came, and the king went to visit him at night. King of the Arabs, handsome Joseph of this age, ruler of two empires, one composed of territories. 90 and the other of his beauty of women, if you would consent to stay with me, I will be honored. You abandon kingdoms, because you want more than kingdoms. The king of Tabak went on like this, praising Imru, I gave, and talking theology and philosophy. Imru, I gave, kept silent. Then suddenly he leaned and whispered something in the second king's ear, and that second, that second king became a wanderer too. They walked out of town hand in hand. No royal belts, no thrones. This is what love does and continues to do. It tastes like honey to adults and milk to children. Love is the last 30 pound veil. When you load it on, the boat tips over. So they wandered around China like birds pecking at bits of grain. They rarely spoke because of the dangerous seriousness of the secret they knew. That love secret spoken pleasantly, or in irritation, severs a hundred thousand heads in one swing. A love lion grazes in the soul's pasture, while the scimitar of this secret approaches. It's a killing better than any living. All that world power wants, really, is this weakness. So these kings talked in low tones, and carefully. Only God knows what they said. They used unsayable words, bird language. But some people have imitated them, learned a few bird calls, and gotten prestigious. Nine feet. All rivers at once. Don't unstring the bow. I am your poor feathered arrow that has not been used yet. I am a strong knife blade lure. Not some if or maybe, dissolving in air. I am sunlight slicing the dark. Who made this knife? A forge deep in the earth mud. What is the body? Endurance. What is love? Gratitude. What is hidden in our chests? Laughter. What else? Compassion. Let the beloved be a hat pulled down firmly on my head. Her drawstrings pulled and tied around my chest. Someone asks, how does love have hands and feet? Love is the sprouting bed for hands and feet. Your father and mother were playing love games. They came together, and you appeared. Don't ask what love can make or do. Look at the colors of the world. The river water moving in all rivers at once. The truth that lives in Sham's face. 92. The block road. I wish I knew what you wanted. You block the road and won't give me rest. You pull my leg rope one way, then the other. You act cold, my darling. Do you hear what I say? Will this night of talking ever end? Why am I still embarrassed and timid about you? You are thousands. You are one. Quiet, but most articulate. Your name is Spring. Your name is Wine. Your name is the nausea that comes from wine. You are my doubting in the light point. In my eyes. You are every image, and yet I'm homesick for you. Can I get there? Where the deer pounces on the lion, where the one I'm after is after me. 
This drum and these words keep pounding. Let them both smash through their coverings into silence. A babbling child. If my words are not saying what you would say, slap my face. Discipline me as a loving mother does a babbling child caught up in nonsense. A thirsty man runs into the sea, and the sea holds a sword to his throat. 93. A lily looks at a bank of roses and wilts and says nothing. I am a tambourine, don't put me aside till the fast dancing starts. Play me some all along. Help me with these little sounds. Joseph is most beautiful when he's completely naked, but his shirt gives you an idea, as the body lets you glimpse the glitter on the water of the soul. Even if the corpse washer burns my jaw shut, you'll still hear this song coming out of my dead silence. Who sees inside from outside? Who finds hundreds of mysteries even where minds are deranged? See through his eyes what he sees. Who then is looking out from his eyes? Constant conversation. Who is luckiest in this whole orchestra? The reed. Its mouth touches your lips to learn music. All reeds, sugarcane especially, think only of this chance. They sway in the cane breaks, free in the many ways they dance. Without you the instrument would die. One sits close beside you. Another takes a long kiss. The tambourine begs, touch my skin so I can be myself. Let me feel you enter each limb bone by bone, that what died last night can be whole today. 94. Why live some sober away and feel you ebbing out? I won't do it. Either give me enough wine or leave me alone, now that I know how it is to be with you in a constant conversation. Bonfire at midnight. A shout comes out of my room where I've been cooped up. After all my lust and dead living I can still live with you. You want me to. You fix and bring me food. You forget the way I've been. The ocean moves and surges in the heat of the middle of the day, in the heat of this thought I'm having. Why aren't all human resistances burning up with this thought? It's a drum and arms waving. It's a bonfire at midnight on the top edge of a hill, this meeting again with you. In between stories, turn from the ocean now toward dry land. When you're with children, talk about toys. From playthings, little by little, they reach into deeper wisdom and clarity. Gradually, they lose interest in their toys. They have a sense of wholeness in them already. If they were completely demented, they wouldn't play at all. Did you hear that? It's the man who is looking for treasure. 95. He wants me to finish his story. You didn't hear him. Then he must be inside me yelling, over here. Come over here, don't think of him as a seeker, though, whatever he's looking for, he is that himself. How can a lover be anything but the beloved? Every second he's bowing into a mirror. If he could see for just a second one molecule of what's there without fantasizing about it, he'd explode. His imagination, and he himself, would vanish, with all his knowledge, obliterated into a new birth, a perfectly clear view, a voice that says, I am God. That same voice told the angels to bow to Adam, because they were identical with Adam. It's the voice that first said, There is no reality with God. There is only God. Loosen pulls me by the ear now, wash your mouth. By trying to say these things, you can feel them. Just finish telling the story about the dervish who was looking for treasure. 
your listeners love difficulty, not unity. Talk about world troubles. Don't distribute water from the fountain. They don't want that. In fact, they loaded themselves with dirt cloths to clog up the fountain. They'd like to shut it off. We are listeners as well as speakers of this mystery, both of us, but who else will join this strange companionship? 96. That's what Nissan wants to know. The question. One dervish to another, what was your vision of God's presence? I haven't seen anything, but for the sake of conversation, I'll tell you a story. God's presence is there in front of me, a fire on the left, a lovely stream on the right. One group walks toward the fire, into the fire, another toward the sweet flowing water. No one knows which are blessed and which not. Whoever walks into the fire appears suddenly in the stream. A head goes under on the water surface, that head pokes out of the fire. Most people guard against going into the fire, and so end up in it. Those who love the water of pleasure and make it their devotion are cheated with this reversal. The trickery goes further. The voice of the fire tells the truth saying, I am not fire. I am fountainhead, come into me and don't mind the sparks. If you are a friend of God, fire is your water. You should wish to have a hundred thousand sets of moth wings, so you could burn them away, one set a night. The moth sees light and goes into fire. You should see fire and go toward light. Fire is what if God is world consuming. Water, world protecting. Somehow each gives the appearance of the other. To these eyes you have now, what looks like water burns. What looks like fire is a great relief to the inside. You've seen a magician make a bowl of rice seem a dish full of tiny, live worms. Before an assembly with one breath he made the floor swarm with scorpions that weren't there. How much more amazing God's tricks. Generation after generation lies down, defeated, they think that they're like a woman underneath a man, circling him. One molecule most second thinking of God's reversal. 97. Of comfort and pain is better than any attending ritual. That splinter of intelligence is substance. The fire and water themselves accidental, done with mirrors. The music. For 60 years I have been forgetful. Every minute, but not for a second has this flowing toward me stopped or slowed. I deserve nothing. Today I recognize that I am the guest the mystics talk about. I play this living music for my host. Everything today is for the host. I saw you last night in the gathering, but did not take you openly in my arms, so I put my lips next to your cheek, pretending to talk privately. The tent. Outside, the freezing desert night. This other night inside grows warm, kindling. Let the landscape be covered with thorny crust. We have a soft garden in here. The continents blasted, cities and little towns, everything become a scorched, blackened ball. 98. The news we hear is full of grief for that future, but the real news inside here is there's no news at all. Friend, our closeness is this. Anywhere you put your foot, feel me in the firmness under you. How is it with this love? I see your world and not you. AQ. Listen to presences in five poems. Let them take you where they will. Follow those private hints, and never leave the premises. 99. 8. Being a lover, the sunrise ruby, 
On being a lover. Being a lover is close to being a worker. When the lily becomes the sunrise, its transparency changes to a daily discipline. There's a story about a Sufi who rips his robe and gives it the name Faraji, which means, rip open, or, happiness, or, one who brings the joy of being open. It comes from the stem Faraj, which also refers to the genitals, male and female. The Sufis teacher sees the purity of the name and the action, while others notice only his ragged appearance. Peace and compassion tongue is covering the thrown open and the screaming beauty of emotion flows through the lover worker. Rumi suggests in another poem that being human is a guest house where travelers are welcomed and entertained. The work is to be a good host of the caravanserai. The sunrise ruby. In the early morning hour, just before dawn, lover and beloved wake and take a drink of water. She asks, do you love me or yourself more? Really, tell the absolute truth. He says, there's nothing left of me. I'm like a ruby held up to the sunrise. Is it still a stone, or a world made of redness? It has no resistance to sunlight. 2. This is how Halaj said, I am God, and told the truth. The ruby and the sunrise are one. Be courageous and discipline yourself. Completely become hearing and ear, and wear this sun ruby as an earring. Work. Keep digging your well. Don't think about getting off from work. Water is there somewhere. Submit to a daily practice. Your loyalty to that is a ring on the door. Keep knocking, and the joy inside will eventually open a window and look out to see who's there. Water from your spring. What was in that candle's light that opened and consumed me so quickly? Come back, my friend. The form of our love is not a creative form. Nothing can help me but that beauty. There was a dawn I remember when my soul heard something from your soul. I drank water from your spring and felt the current take me. 10 now. You sweep the floor. The Lord of beauty enters the soul as a man walks into an orchard in spring. Come into me that way again. Light the lamp in the eye of Joseph. Pure Jacob's sadness. Though you never left, come and sit down here and ask, why are you so confused? Like a fresh idea in an artist's mind, you fashion things before they come into being. You sweep the floor like the man who keeps the doorway. When you brush a form clean, it becomes what it truly is. You guard your silence perfectly like a water bag that does an EAK. You live where Shams lives, because your heart donkey was strong enough to take you there. Each note. Advice doesn't help lovers. They're not the kind of mountain stream you can build a dam across. An intellectual doesn't know what the drunk is feeling. Don't try to figure what those lost inside love will do next. 102. Someone in charge would give up all this power, if he caught one loop of the wine must from the room where the lovers are doing who knows what. One of them tries to dig a hole through a mountain. One flees from academic honors. One laughs at famous mustaches. Life freezes if it doesn't get a taste of this almond cake. The stars come up spinning every night, bewildered in love. They grow tired with that revolving, if they weren't. They say, how long do we have to do this? God picks up the reef for the world and blows. Each note of a need coming through one of us, a passion, a longing pain. 
Remember the list where the wind breath originated, and let your note be clear. Don't try to end it. Need your note. I'll show you how it's enough. Go up on the roof at night in this city of the soul. Let everyone climb on their roofs and sing their notes. Sing loud. Granite and wine glass. You are granite. I am an empty wine glass. 103. You know what happens when we touch. You laugh like the sun coming up laughs at a star that disappears into it. Love opens my chest, and thought returns to its confines. Patience and rational consideration lead. Only passion stays, whimpering and feverish. Some men fall down in the road like dregs thrown out. Men, totally reckless, the riots morning they gallop out with new purposes. Love is the reality, and poetry is the drum that calls us to that. Don't keep complaining about loneliness. Let the fear language of that theme crack open and float away. Let the priest come down from his tower, and not go back up. Buoyancy. Love has taken away my practices and filled me with poetry. I try to keep quietly repeating. No strength is yours. But I couldn't. I had to clap and sing. I used to be respectable and chaste and stable, but who can stand in this strong wind and remember those things? A mountain keeps an echo deep inside itself. That's how I hold your voice. I am scrapwood thrown in your fire, and quickly reduced to smoke. 104. I saw you and became empty. This emptiness, more beautiful than existence, it obliterates existence, and yet when it comes, existence thrives and creates more existence. The sky is blue, the world is a blind man squatting on the road, but whoever sees your emptiness sees beyond blue and beyond the blind man. A great soul hides like Muhammad, or Jesus, moving through a crowd in a city where no one knows him. To praise is to praise how one surrenders to the emptiness. To praise the sun is to praise your own eyes. Praise, the ocean, what we say, a little ship. So the sea journey goes on, and who knows where. Just to be held by the ocean is the best luck we could have. It's a total waking up. Why should we grieve that we've been sleeping? It doesn't matter how long we've been unconscious. We're groggy, but let the guilt go. Feel the motions of tenderness around you, the buoyancy. Music master. You that love lovers, this is your home. Welcome. In the midst of making form, love made this form that melts form, with love for the door, soul the best of you. So, watch the dust grains moving in the light near the window. Their dance is our dance. We rarely hear the inward music, but we're all dancing to it nevertheless, directed by the one who teaches us, the pure joy of the sun, our music master. When I am with you, we stay up all night. When you're not here, I can't go to sleep. Praise God for these two insomnias, and the difference between them. The minute I heard my first love story I started looking for you, not knowing how blind that was. Lovers don't finally meet somewhere. They're in each other all along. We are the mirror as well as we face in it. We are tasting the taste this minute of eternity. We are pain in what cures pain, so. We are the sweet cold water in the jar that pours. So sick. I want to hold you close like a loop, so you can cry out with loving. You would rather throw stones at a mirror. I am your mirror, and here are the stones. R.S. 
someone digging in the ground. An eye is meant to see things. 